this book is clearly a book about water, but as you've sensed, it's also a book about climate change and about biodiversity and about peace and conflict and food security. So what I do in the book is I explore how water connects with all those different facets of our challenges and also explore how water literacy, understanding how water works, how water moves across the landscape and through the atmosphere can help us better address these concerns. Because it's no news to any of you that we do have a lot of really, really difficult challenges before us. But we are not going to resolve those challenges with a visual graph. You know, I'm thinking of the Keeling curve. We're not going to really get at, at these problems by, um, by you know, I'm missing, I'm, I'm, we're, not gonna, we're not gonna get there from, um, um, from scientific research, you know, from peer-reviewed studies, in part because of the politiz politicization of agricultural science and also because mo most research is not out in the real world. It's done in labs so that you don't see how a whole system operates. And in the same way, we're really not going to get at our challenges by looking at each one separately. In other words, we can't over here say, okay, we're going to deal with biodiversity loss and be competing with other institutions that are dealing with climate change and floods and droughts and all those other things. No, the way that we're going to really, really address these challenges is by looking at the whole system, asking questions like, how, how does nature work and how, what might we learn from that? and by looking at systems as a whole in the context of our uh, social and economic circumstances.